We're going to the latest on Kim Kardashian. She's back home and safe in the U.S. after that terrifying theft of millions of dollars worth of jewelry in Paris. Big questions now about Kardashian security, and ABC's Alex Marquardt is on the scene in Paris with new developments in the investigation. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, George. That's right. This hotel where Kim Kardashian was staying is known as the No Address Hotel because of how discreet it is. But many, including the police, are now saying that it was Kardashian's indiscretions online that made her such a target. This morning, French authorities on the hunt for the gang of thieves that quickly turned Kim Kardashian's Paris Fashion Week vacation into a nightmare. Kim, how you doing? She arrived back at home in New York on Monday afternoon with husband Kanye West. This video taken by TMZ, the entrance under heavy guard by their own security as well as NYPD. The ordeal started just after 2 a.m. in Paris on Monday, not long after Kim posted this Snapchat from the exclusive apartment she'd rented for the week. The luxurious and discreet hotel featured in this 2014 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Five masked men enter the building and two into Kardashian's apartment. Official French sources tell ABC News they tied her up, put duct tape around her head, plastic cable ties around her wrists, and locked her in the bathroom. A People magazine source describing her as hysterical, but not screaming, staying silent to try to save her life. Eventually, she was able to wiggle her hands free and ran to a balcony where she screamed for help. She called her bodyguard, who was at a nearby club, with her mother and sister. The thieves taking off with more than $10 million worth of jewelry, including her $4.5 million ring, reportedly a gift from Kanye West that Kim showed off on Instagram just days ago. I'm sorry, this is a family emergency. I have to stop the show. The news quickly reaching the rapper who is thousands of miles away in New York, who abruptly stopped his show. The couple's small children, North and Saint, were reportedly with their father in New York. Celebrity children have become almost as famous as their celebrity parents. And for Kim and Kanye, I think probably their priority is to make sure that they are as secure and as safe as possible because of their two children. This high-profile break-in and embarrassment for the city of Paris and for the No Address Hotel, as it's known, the Parisian home for a long list of celebrities. The security is done by the DNA of the hotel. It's a confidential, discreet place, no name on the door. The social media queen now getting backlash for her online antics. Paris police saying it was really the celebrity who was targeted with possessions that had been seen and noticed via social media. And it was these goods that the attackers targeted, something a former member of Kanye's security agrees with. You should be Snapchatting that you're home and what you have with you. It's almost like a criminal paradise to know that. The authorities here have said very little about this case, and what little they have said has been very defensive. Tourism here in France has dropped off a cliff after all the major terror attacks, and as one person here told me, this is the last thing that Paris needs right now. No question about that, Alex. Thanks very much. Let's talk now to Brad Garrett, former FBI special agent, now an ABC News consultant. Matt Fidesz, former bodyguard from Michael Jackson as well. And, and Brad, let me begin with you. High priority for Paris officials right now. What are the big clues? The big clues are this was planned, George. My guess is they knew the bodyguard was not in her apartment. They knew how to get into the apartment. The big key here is control. And they knew where the jewels were, and they moved them. You say I think, they, you, they knew the bodyguard was not in the apartment. Does that imply someone inside the Kardashian camp tipped them off? Maybe. Or they do great surveillance. They may have her phone hacked. There's all sorts of ways to figure out if she was alone or not. But the key with these guys is they know what's going on, and they control the scene through the concierge, through moving the jewelry, and I'd be willing to bet within hours that jewelry was out of France. And, and Matt Fidesz, you've, you've been a bodyguard for high-profile celebrities as well. What's the breakdown here? What happened? I wouldn't like to speculate. I mean, there's no new information coming out. Um, it's very bizarre for me to get my head around to have to look after high-profile people for 20 years, how somebody of Kim Kardashian's huge fame, I mean, worldwide, in, in a, in a uh, capital like Paris, which is one of the biggest target risks for terrorist attacks um, in the world. The last, in the last 12 to 14 months, we've, they've had three attacks there. And to have a high-profile American there, she would really be a target. So I really do not understand. It is totally beyond anything I'm used to. I've never had any of my clients or celebrity superstar friends experienced anything other than someone jumping over the boundaries of a gate or a parachute landing in the Neverland and, and guards jumping on. 
So I, I, just, I just can't get my head around it. It's, it's very odd to me. Should there have been a bodyguard in that apartment with her at the time? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, to give you an idea how we did things with uh, past clients that I've worked with, we had a join in, uh, an adjoining room to the suite uh, or to the apartment. You'd have bodyguards inside as well as surveillance equipment, sensor mats, CCTV, a link up to the local police station, and then bodyguards outside permanently, normally in SUV um, type cars. And that would be a natural process. And we would sweep the bedrooms, we would make sure everything's in place. And what, what concerns me too is uh, about five or six days ago, I believe, there was a, a situation where she was approached and yeah. there seemed to be just one bodyguard, this, this gentleman in question, who um, so there, didn't really there do should his have job been more well. security he should, should, in place. Okay, Matt, it should have been much. a wake-up call for him. Final question, Brad Garrett. This, this jewelry is so high profile now. How could anyone sell it? Because the Georgia are not going to sell it as is. They've moved it into another country. They're going to they're going to shave off or cut off or polish off any identifying like ID numbers, etc. Break it up, place it in other jewelry. It's probably already in watches by now, someplace else. Moving down the road in another jewelry store. Okay, Brad Garrett. Thanks oh. very much.